Hello everyone, Zminer99 here. Welcome. I went on another trip today. Um, this is out at the end of a trail, um, which I went on out in DuPont. I don't know the name of the trail. But this is the Puget Sound. And uh, at any rate, out here today, there's not many people over here. Uh, I'm not turning my camera back the other way because there's people from my group here, my parents. But uh, <clears throat> it's interesting we can find um, that is washed up. This is someone's campfire wood. Or not necessarily campfire, but firewood. It's been split, has clearly burned on the one side. Yeah, there's not many other people out here. It's kind of nice. Not like last weekend. I didn't come out last weekend, but my dad did with another group. So, but out here, it was part of the logging industry back in the day. So this is the point where the rail lines went out onto a pier. Would have been right there um, on the water and logs would be dumped into the river or river sound, uh, tied up together into rafts and then ferried up the coast uh, to logging mills up north of here. I'm actually amazed that they left the rails here because there's a, uh, like in most areas, these get torn out to go and just be smelted down and reused, the metal be reused. Uh, they normally don't leave most of the rails out. So it's kind of cool to see uh, all the rails out here. There is, under this one here, I'm not a geocacher, but the group my dad was with last week found this. They're not geocachers either. A little geocache right there. Not opening because it's not part of what I do, but thought that was interesting. <laughs> I believe this is narrow gauge. I'm fairly certain it is. It doesn't look quite as wide as a normal rail line. Um, but this is a switch point here, which they actually did take some of the components out of, because I don't think a narrow gauge engine or pretty much any engine would be very happy about that long of a gap on one of its sides. Um. <laughs> oh. Got something in my nose. Don't know what it was. <laughs> Anyhow. So, yeah. This is pretty cool. And this line goes all the way back um, to a current train trestle. Um, but, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I'll see you all guys. Or all, eh. See all of you guys in a bit. And so this is down on the other side there. So you can see, probably you can see over there how there's a couple rails just hanging over the edge. That's back where we were, where we started the video. And then you can see that the rail lines from right here are missing. They've been taken out. We can see how the pier, well, it wasn't really a pier because, like, it was only, well, I guess technically it would be, more of a dock uh, running all the way along the side here. That came out of this tunnel, which is beautiful and covered with graffiti. I'm saying that sarcastically for any of those who aren't sure. Um, but you can see here, um, up above this tunnel is the main line, the current main line, which runs actually pretty much by my house, 
a decent ways or a little bit south of here and then runs straight up north as well. Um, then this side here would have been, I mean, as you can tell, for the rail line to run through. And then it looks like service channel or something. Uh, I'm not quite sure on that one. A lot of trash down here. Uh, then this is, of course, the pedestrian side, or vehicle side probably as well, of the tunnel. And I'm not sure they could have had a second rail line running through there at one point as well. Uh, yeah. These ties... Oh, that sounds weird, my voice. Uh, these ties are all still super solid. So, yeah. And I don't have to worry about a train coming down here. I mean, the, the rail line ends there at the other end of the tunnel. Or else I would not be walking along it on this side. <laughs> yep, and then this is from the other side. You can see how there were once um, things coming, or the all the lines, communication, that, that ran across the top of the tunnel as well. And more burned wood. Apparently. Looks like people have burned things here a decent bit. Not sure what that's from. Actually, they might have had a fire here. I don't know. Um, now I'm looking for signs of fire from a few years ago. But uh, I don't really need to do that, do I? <laughs> Anyways, I think that's it. So thank you all for watching. Um, actually, we're not going to end. We're going to go back up and do debrief at the top of the rail line. Uh, this is the valley that we hiked down here. That is the covert that the creek runs through. And I'll see you guys back up at the top. All right, everyone. So we're back. Uh, I'm at my house, though. Um... <laughs> because so, there were a lot of people at the trailhead, so just wanted to kind of get out of there. Uh, it wouldn't have been good to record because there's not a lot of good scenery up there either. Um, and there'd be a lot of people in the videos, and I don't really want to do that as much as I can. So anyhow, what you're looking at now are some of the video, or some of the, not videos, some of the pictures I took of the signs along the trail. And then here is a map uh, from Google um, of the trail hike, which it's along a valley. So it's a gradual decline the entire way out um, to the sound from the trailhead along the valley. And then you come back up the valley. So it's a gradual descent up. It's not like a loop or anything like that. And it, was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I would definitely recommend if you ever happen to be um, in the area. Uh, so anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time.